Can I say good morning to them? Good morning. Good morning! I'm wearing the same thing that I've been wearing the past three days. Nobody has to know but you. <laughs> You're still beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? Well, of course she's beautiful. She's taking you guys shopping today. She's going to Bowley. Where? Foley. Foley. Um, okay, so she's taking you shopping and I'm staying here and working. Mm-hmm. Have fun, y'all. He's so southern. I'm so southern. Give me some apple pie. I'm not really sure where I fit in. I've lived in the south my whole life. She doesn't feel southern. I've never said y'all, like seriously. Other than just like saying it to this? you. I have to buy I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to me. I actually go through the length to say you all. Hey, babe. Just so you know, you look better with the light on you instead of the light on the camera. Mm. Do I look better like this? Before I leave, there's one thing I have to do first. And that... I don't know if you can see him. Let's bring him into the light. That is our last toad baby. It's time to release him. Rami 99. Alright, just get rid of the rocks. Some of the water. Where are we going with him? Been real. This is my first time I've ever raised tadpoles. You guys were awesome. You taught me a lot. Bobo, you need to back up. I just dusted off. Aside from that, you got to give him some space. Here we go. I hope you make it. It's going to be cold the next few days. Well, actually, you're going to get some warmth and then it's going to be cold. Oh no, the cat's coming. <laughs> go Harambe 99, go! <laughs> I think... It's a happy day. I mean, you saw us get rid of the tank. Yeah. That was a happy day too, because now we have our kitchen table back. But now, <laughs> all of the surviving toads are on their own. Yep. We didn't save any, we didn't keep any. I wonder if this is going to be something that we do again. I don't know. Let's see about the pounds. Oh. Be careful with Harambe. Of course, I just put them where the cats are fucking playing. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Whatever. I don't know. I was really excited to do something. Thank you, Bobo. We know that you need food. I'll give you food in one second. Anyways, so, gotta go. Say bye. Peace. Very good. I'm glad you didn't lose a whole day of vlog stuff. Yeah, I know. Either way, I love you. Be safe. We'll talk to you later. Okay, I love you. Okay, bye. Bye. So I just made it. Oh, shit. Uh, I forgot I was on a phone call, so my music was going to come back in. I'm listening to Tool. Salaval. Haven't listened to that in a while. I just wanted something kind of casual on while I drove. Anyways, made it out to Foley. It's not as busy as I thought, which is nice. Um, 
yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm going to return the jacket to Ann Taylor. I might pop over to Banana Republic and check out their jackets. I'm going to go over to Old Navy. That's all I got. Just looking for something that it can go over my dress because as the days have gone on, the weather forecast has been basically just suggesting that it's going to be colder. So it started at like 61 degrees and when we started looking at the weather, yeah, I think the high was going to be 61 and now the high is 53. So that's a week. A week from today we'll be at Anna's wedding. She has requested that we not vlog at her wedding. But that doesn't mean that we aren't going to vlog that day. So we are still going to vlog. It's going to be an interesting day. Um, I'm not having anybody do my hair. I'm not having anybody do my makeup. I'm going to do it all by myself. And just get myself ready. That was successful. So I'm less interested in like taking little shots like John would. Like setting the camera up on the counter. And getting her returning the coat and all that. I'm better at just walking down the way in front of people talking. That seems more effective for me. Anyway, so that was successful. I got the, um, the jacket returned. Now I'm gonna go to Banana Republic because I didn't look at jackets there and they may have something that's perfect because that's where I got the dress. Who knows? Let's find out. There you go. Uh, we'll put right on. Instead of walking, not because I don't need the exercise, but because I am uh, wearing these wedges. And just for speed, I think I only have like an hour left. What's your favorite way to shop? You just like shopping alone? Do you like shopping with people? I am I'm used to shopping alone, but you know, I really like John as a shopping partner. When he's like fed and not complaining, he's a good shopping partner. I'm going to Old Navy unless I see something that's like super exciting. They tell me not to walk on the grass, but I, I do. I always walk on the grass. I'm really confused as to what the fuck is the point of grass is if you're not allowed to walk on it. here but um, I'm done I tried on a bunch of stuff some worked some did not oh. anyways I'm done I'm going home I'm sure I could do more shopping but we have band practice in just a little bit so that's that I made it home just in time for band practice we should be getting started in about 15 minutes Cosette! Yeah, they need to come in because if we're gonna be in the middle of band class, it's gonna get start. Mm-hmm. Good boy, Humphrey! Can't believe we don't have any tadpoles anymore. I made 99. Agree to Amy? These things. Mm -hmm. What was this for? 
You made something weird in here, didn't you? Totally weird. Stop using the sugar in the middle of the night. <laughs> not in the middle of the night. It is. No. When did you make this? When you were going just now. What did you make? I made myself an orange soda. Honey. It was delicious. You gotta stop. Right now we're waiting on Trace. We're about to have band practice. They know. They know? Yeah, I walked. I'm over here! I'm just kidding. <laughs> to be honest. Alright, ladies. Three times through, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So are we trying the new intro thing? Oh yeah, did, did, were you here when I was describing the intro? No. So, John's right here doing the dishes. I don't know if that matters, though. But you might hear the noise, so say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so today we released our last tadpole toad baby. We had two tadpoles left and one passed away. So we released um, the last one today and I'm excited that we were able to raise so many and release so many. I hope they're, most of them have survived. I hope so. Is neat going through the process. I've never raised any tadpoles like when I was a kid or anything. I'm going to do a quick review of the story of the tadpoles. So for those that don't know how we came to start growing tadpoles, <laughs> raising tadpoles. Farming. Farming tadpoles, yeah. Tadpole husbandry. Sure. All right. So we take a walk at Tar Kiln Bayou regularly. And one day we happened upon the, a normal puddle and several sets of mating toads. And we were like, well, that's neat. I don't it, know. It just seemed, it was weird because there was so many toads. Yeah, it was the, like, you party. know, toad orgy. Not really an orgy because they were all just kind of doing their own thing. Just a lot of food with them. It was a mating pond. Yeah, mating, mating, puddle. mating puddle. So then a couple of days later, or yeah, a couple of days later, there were tadpoles, a ton of tadpoles in this puddle. And that was really neat. And so we're like, cool, we might get to see, you know, the birds of toads. Well, that was before we actually looked up and understood the life cycle of a tadpole. And when we did that, we realized there was no way that these tadpoles were going to survive because it's a puddle. It is going to dry up. And it did. It, the puddle dried up. And I, I don't, I mean, I assume that everything died, but eventually a puddle came again and there were tadpoles again. And so we decided we were gonna take some home which we did, and so that's how we came to raise them, because we, they were gonna die. We scooped, we, it. we scooped them up with Ziploc bags. Yeah, we brought bags of tadpole water home, puddle water, water for all intents and purposes. Yeah, that's what we did. I don't know, I, I really enjoyed the process. It took, it was sometime in the summer. When did we get It was that? around the Harambe incident. It was right after Harambe was killed, so whenever that was, yeah, like because May we named our first, we named one particular tadpole Harambe. The the first. The first the to first turn. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, the first to turn, the but leader. that was still after months. Either way, it took a really long time for some of them to turn. Um, it, that can happen with, you know, crowding if they're not getting enough nutrients. <sighs> Not that you care. Anyways, the tadpoles, they're all gone, and I miss them, but we still have two goldfish. We got the goldfish to eat the mosquito larvae that was in the tadpole tank so that we weren't growing mosquitoes, so. I told him I'd vlog the entire time I was doing dishes. Mostly so I didn't have to do the dishes. <clears throat> it's a good deal, I guess. Okay, but other than that, we're done. Good night. Good See night. you tomorrow. It's time to relax. Thanks so much for watching. 
In tomorrow? Sunday. We're, we're going to brunch. Yeah, with my mom's. In Mobile. Possibly her husband, Lamer. I think so. I th no, Lamar. Lamer. I, I think that he will be there. Yeah. We're having our Christmas brunch. The Christmas special with Joyce and Lamar. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice. Cool. Mm. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.